Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to Stock Rider Stocks in the Mood for another week. Today is day the 29th of February 2024. My name is Richard Lee and I manage the stockrider.com.au website for you. Well, I hope everyone's excited because we're having a good time, we're enjoying ourselves at the moment. This is the sweet spot for the stock market. Uh, we follow the trends and we manage the rise and that's all we really do at the moment. There's nothing more to it than that. Uh, when the market is running hot like it is now, uh, the new high is the most effective and reliable signal that you can have because they're happening everywhere and we just need to manage those with our stops and we'll be okay. So, um, we'll have a good uh, short sharp look at the markets today. Uh, first, you want to go through uh, the top 10, uh, which is, I've got a list here of about 10 stocks. There's actually about 20, 25 stocks rating at top uh, 10 on the trend intensity rating at the moment. So you can see lots of these stocks up. We've got Arb here, Cochlear, which has been an amazing stock. NAB and Westpac are both recent bank entries. Uh, West Farm is just touching its, touching its highs at the moment. Seven Group Holdings, you can see, has been a beautiful trend since its new high. Uh, it's gone from about 24 to about nearly 40 bucks. Um, next DC has just uh, hit a new high, uh, as has net wealth. We'll look at that one later on. Blue Scope and QB also doing well. And as I said, there is now there is a smashing amount of other stocks uh, in the top uh, rating top tens at the moment. So uh, hopefully you're under most of those. Okay, now we'll just have a quick look at the stock big count. Again, we're not seeing uh, every stock come in in one week. It doesn't happen. You don't have to be panicked too much. We've just got four coming this week. We've had a few last week. We'll have a few next week. Um, it's just a slow trickle and uh, so there are always new stocks coming in and some stocks falling out, not recently, but um, you don't have to worry too much about missing out, okay? So just take it easy and keep control of what you're doing, okay? So four stocks of 62 in there, so 49 stock picks now of 160 stocks and 13 ETFs of 23 covered, okay? Uh, now also this week I thought we just a little portfolio update because we haven't done one for a while, um, it was just late last year, uh, just to review the conservative portfolio is now got 8 out of 10 stocks in it, so it's 80% equities and 10% CAGR, which is pretty good, okay, uh, and that's, you know, that's almost full, so that's a good sign for the market. The Energizer 5 is full at 100% equities, still running at 15.6, which is excellent. Uh, the Energizer 10 is also full, 10 out of 10 stocks. Um, 12%, which is also very, very good. And we've got the two smaller stocks uh, portfolios here, which have been running recently, especially covering that two year difficult period uh, where we were just trying to go up and down in one spot for a while there. But they're now starting to move higher. The five stock from August 20 has moved up to 8%. And the five stock from March 21 has now moved up to 7%, and they're both full um, of stocks. Now, the, the newsletter came out yesterday, and you can see all the stocks that I'm holding in the five and ten stocks. They're all there available for you to have a look at there. If you want to have a look at it, subscribe, get a look at the newsletter, and you'll see what stocks we're holding there. And this goes back to now the accumulation index, which is up 8.8% over the 20 year period, well, just over 20 years from March 2003. So we're outperforming those all pretty well, apart from the two smaller portfolios, which will catch up no doubt okay so that's the the, um, the portfolios i thought i'd run through those for you to give you an idea what is happening there the the dow is looking fantastic still there's no real trouble there uh it's uh, still the trend is up any sales any selling seems to be bought up at the moment there's just an abundance of buyers out there same with the s p and the NASDAQ, really, it's doing pretty well, but it's just, uh, it's hit the highs there. So we've had a pretty good run with some of those stocks there. So we might have a little bit of correction, we'll have to wait and see. But um, at the moment, it may go straight through with the Dow and the S&P, who knows. But um, we, again, we're stock specific, so um, some of those stocks there have been pretty crazy in the NASDAQ. And we know that that section of the market is driving the S&P 500 as well um, because of the big polarisation of stocks. Okay, so now we go to the S&P uh, 200, which again, you know, it's, it's just marking time around the highs. And as you know, we've got some good stocks going in there. Some stocks aren't moving yet, which is good. So our market is a lot more controlled and a lot more sensible, should I say, uh, than the American market, which uh, they're very excitable characters, those Americans. And they certainly run that market very high, very quickly. And we've got to be very careful if you're exposed to that market. Um, gold, going to commodities now, gold hasn't done anything since we last saw it. Copper, similar situation, just going sideways in that range. And Brent crude oil, it's the same sort of thing, it's just going sideways, it's done nothing for quite a few weeks, so really not much there. Thus, our resources sector is pretty flat for the most part, apart from a couple of stocks there that are doing okay. Okay, so that is... Um, 
the stocks, the, the, sorry, the, uh, the commodities and the indices I wanted to go through today. Um, now to go through, through to a few stocks. Now I talked about new highs and we know that new highs um, are everywhere. If we look at a few that have run on, that have made new highs that have run really well, we've got car sales, Magellan, CSR now has had a takeover bid. Uh, Cochlear's done well, Altium another, another takeover bid, uh, Venti Services, GQG Partners, Seven Group Holdings which we talked about, Super Cheap Auto, uh, AP Eagers, uh, Automotive, uh, Next DC, uh, Premier, Inve Premier of Investments and JB Hi-Fi all done very well from new highs, broken high and moved sharply higher and again we're managing all those positions with our trailing stops. And there are stocks also doing it now who are just beginning which we're going to look at a few of these stocks today um, like uh, Good Groups, Mutual New Highs, uh, West Farmers is right on tight at the moment, Ampol. The two banks, NAB Westpac, have just really triggered some highs there. Some courts moved to a new high. West uh, Wise Tech is now moving there. Dow and Medibank Private, which has been a little bit of a funny one, Medibank, but it's still holding well above its stop at the moment. So, so we'll look at a couple of stocks for you today. Um, firstly, Ampol, which we saw. Um, Moved to new highs not long ago. Um, it's it, the rally sort of was got, got some higher lows here and some higher highs here. Now we're not too concerned about what's happening there. We just focus on what we focus on, which is the new high here, and that's where our signal comes in. And we're so we're making some profits there. Trend intensity rating is ten. We've got good volume here. We've got great momentum, and the moving average is pointing up. So this is really the picture throughout the market. Well, not throughout the market, throughout our stock picks at the moment um, of what's holding. And this is an all-time high. Um, you know, some people have trouble with all time highs, it's really a, a price issue, uh, but trying to forget about the price and look at the price action is really what we're concerned about. So Ampol is looking very good, it also yields a bit as well Ampol. Uh, Goodman Group, um, it's had a meteoric rise in $16, it's now up about nearly up to $29. Uh, so late 2022 it was wallowing down there after those property stocks had a big dive, but it really has recovered very well. We had one little stop out in the way up through here, but we've just continued on through here. Our strategy is to, as you know, protect it on any correction backwards, but if it makes a new high, we follow it higher. And that's what we've done with Goodman Group, and it's done very well for us. Uh, West Farmers has just been an acceleration thing from a very, very slow start here. We almost got stopped out from this initial trade, but it held on and it's been just a slow rise, slow rise. In the last couple of weeks, it's just really, really high with some really good acceleration there. And great volume, great momentum. So that's looking um, looking very, very good indeed, West Farms. So interesting at the highs, uh, we just have to wait and see. We manage this position with our stop loss, which again, this is where it was at the end of last week. It will rise again this week to where I don't uh, no, you have to look at uh, on the trading centre on Monday to find out where that stop moves to next week. Okay, Net Wealth Group, this has just made a new high out of a big trading range here. Uh, it had a big rally here back uh, into, into the middle of 2021. Uh, it's gone sideways for quite a long time and now we're seeing a break up. We're now seeing some very nice volume following this move and momentum. So again, it's just a stock that's running hot and making new highs and we just follow it higher there, okay? Um, then again, I did mention the banks before, National Australia Bank, let's move to a new high, it's had a trading range, uh, correction, consolidation pattern of the rise from $14 up to about $32. It came back to about $26 and has now started rising through 32 and is now up around 33, 34 at the moment. So trend intensity rating is 10 and we can see the volume there. If I just push out this little bit of volume back here, you can just see this is quite heavy, uh, quite heavy through here. Uh, we have got the Christmas period there and in the middle of it, which is really just sort of um, puts a little bit of a dent in it, but uh, people do go away for holidays and not much happens. So uh, that's why the volume is a bit weak there. But all in all, it's a very, very good picture for National Australia Bank. Okay, so that's really sort of the main thing I wanted to go through with you today because it really is uh, a market that you just uh, take those new highs and follow them through pretty well. Um, and you know, and it's, that, that's the way it's played, really. Um, we've had a really difficult market for a while, but this is the sweet spot, and the market does spend most of its time rising, so capitalise it while you can. Okay? Don't be nervous. Okay, so the smart trader knows you, can, you can't control the market, but you can control what you do. Okay, so you, you just follow the market, let the market do what it wants to do, and you look, listen to your trade plan and do what your trade plan tells you to. The main thing, what you want to be doing is making money and not losing it and not losing it is easy if you work with stops okay and now we can make the money because the market is rising okay um, so simple techniques 
such as new highs are simple, reliable, and very effective. So, you know, I can't impress enough on you how simple the market really is. Uh, when it goes through these stages, it really is important to make uh, to make the money while you can. Uh, and with these new highs, again, some people don't make money, some people do. And some people don't make money are probably trading emotionally. Some people that do are using their trade management, which is key in these situations, okay? So that's the important part of it. It really is a very, very simple discipline, uh, a very simple discipline about this whole process it is. But you need to have a process to follow to do. It, okay, so stock right here to guide you on these things. As I said before, the newsletter's out. I show you a lot of open positions in there as to how they're looking at the moment. We've got the big con congregation of, uh, of uh, open positions, uh, longer term open positions at the highs there with some good returns there and some new entries coming in there. Okay, so that's really all I've got for you today. The market is great at the moment. I hope you're enjoying it. Watch the new highs, but manage them carefully, okay. Every week we have a couple of new ones coming in. It's not an onslaught, it's a trickle. So watch your trends, heed your stops, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Uh, I am going travelling for a couple of weeks up New South Wales coast, doing some swimming and some surfing and some camping. And uh, so I'll be out on the road for a couple of weeks, but hopefully I'll be able to get to you uh, with my videos on the way through. I'll be keeping an eye on the market and seeing what it's doing because I'm enjoying every bit of it at the moment, as I hope you are too. Okay, well, thanks very much for listening, and I'll see you next week from some on the New South Wales coast. Bye now.